Hi, this is Daniel Kubiagic from UV Pools. Today I want to talk to you about uh, sump pits. So not every pool has a sump pit. Most newer pools do. Some get retrofitted if there's high water table or other issues. But a sump pit is somewhere either in your pool deck where it looks like you have a second skimmer lid or it might be behind your pool concrete. And it's a place where all the water from around your pool walls will collect. So a sump pit is highly beneficial as a fail safe. You can if you think there's a leak in your pool, you could check in the sump pit and there might be water in there and you could test it and see if there's chlorine on the water. So it's important to keep a pump in there all throughout the summer from early spring to late fall. And it's always nice to have a pump with an automatic float on it that will automatically discharge the water throughout the summer so you don't have to worry about a line bubbling under your pool line or wrinkling or floating or anything like that. So in springtime what you want to do is, as early as possible, you want to drop the pump into the pit. So you want to plug it in. This one has power in the pit. Uh, you may have an extension cord that you plug it into. That's fine too. And you hook up your garden hose or hose to the pump. You drop it down in there and uh, you leave it throughout the summer to automatically pump and discharge the water out. Come fall time, what you want to do is take the pump out disconnect the hose. Uh, so you can leave it as late fall as possible until the hose or the discharge hose starts to freeze and it can no longer pump water. Thanks for watching the video.